I agree with some of the people online, you know, our, our good friend, Jeff Huntley, who said, you know, there is no magic prompt. I can't give you the prompt that works for my project and expect that it'll work for yours. Some of the same themes and ideas will be present, but just because the phrasing works in my project doesn't mean it'll work in yours. I think that for now, anyways, that's true with AI. We might discover patterns and reusable and composable things in the future. But for now, I think that is one of the hardest things. And it's not very satisfying to tell distinguished engineers with decades of experience they're doing it wrong. <laughs> They've solved the hardest problems in the world. And now somebody's coming up and saying, well, it's because you didn't prompt it correctly, right? Like it's the most, it's the least satisfying answer, but we have to be humble enough to understand that there's truth to it. We need to learn how to use this tool in much the same way that people need to learn any new framework, any new tool. There's going to be a moment where, you know, if you're moving from React to Angular, you're going to have a clumsy moment when you can think in one paradigm, but not the new paradigm. And you're going to be begging the whole way. I could be done with this already if I was still using the old tech stack. But that's not the point, right? You'll be, you'll get to productivity in the next tech stack as long as you learn to embrace it. And I think that's, uh, that's the hardest thing for senior engineers with AI, or at least a subset of them anyways, is learning to be comfortable being bad again at something that we're very, very good at.